Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Today's gonna be my October favorites, and I didn't actually do a favorites last month because I think the whole month just went so quickly, and I didn't. I was kind of too late to do it. So it feels nice to be back and to be talking about loads of like a few things that I've been loving this month. This one's quite beauty focused because I feel like I haven't talked about beauty for so long, and there's been quite a few things. There's been a few things that I have been really loving things that I've been new in, that I've been trying out. Oh, also I ordered some bits from Glossier because obviously they're now available in the UK. So the first day that it was available, I went on and I ordered loads of bits. But in case you're wondering, before I get started, my top is from Topshop. Um, I showed it in a recent haul and I love it. This is in the size 10, which I think fits perfectly. Um, and my necklace is from Misoma and my earrings are from And Other Story. So I'll link everything down below. I don't want to go too heavy with the makeup today. So I haven't been feeling that well. I've been really ill over the weekend just gone. I was so ill. So <laughs> it's kind of taken me so long to sit down and be able to film. But I didn't want to go too fussy with the makeup today. And on my lips, I just chucked on this NARS lip gloss in Chihuahua. Actually, before I go into the beauty, I have to show you guys these sunglasses because I'm just obsessed with them. And I haven't had them for that long, but they're from Celine and you guys know that. Like, I don't have a huge sunglasses collection, but my Celine Sunnies are probably my favorite ones. These are from World Duty Free. So I'll link them down below. And I'm so obsessed with the shape of them. Let me put them on. They're so nice. Like I, I've seen um, this pair quite a lot at Fashion Week, but the, the white version, which I love, but I don't think they had them on the website. So I went with this tortoiseshell um, color and I think it's so nice and it's so flattering. And I've got quite a few pairs of black sunglasses. So I wanted to go for something a bit different, but they're such amazing quality and I just love them so much. So I just wanted to show you guys them first. Um, okay, so first up beauty and skincare wise, I've been loving these two shower gels from This Works. And this works is a brand that I've I've pretty much loved since they launched. Obviously, they do the the deep sleep pillow spray, which everyone loves, and I love it so much as well. I use it every single night, and I I use the baby one as well for indie sometimes. And I didn't actually know that they do shower gels. I don't know if I'm just really late to the party, but I've been loving both of these. This is the Energy Bank shower gel. So this uh, uh, smells more zesty, more zingy, and. Um, more energizing and it, you know, it, I don't know, it really preps you up at the, at the start of the day. And then this is the deep sleep shower gel. So obviously this is nice to use at night time and it's the same scent as the pillow spray. So I thought that was so, I, I just thought that was such a good idea to have a shower gel version of it. If you did want to change up your shower gels just once, um, they're just a really nice one to try out. Also, I love the packaging. They come with little caps on, but um, the package is really easy and like quite ergonomic. And leading on from showers, I'm someone who's always into my body creams. So I'm quite picky about them and I like them to, I don't know, they just have to sink in quickly and do the job. Um, and I ordered this as part of my Glossier order. It's the Glossier Body Hero uh, Daily Perfecting Cream. Um, and I love this so much. I really love the scent of it. Oh God, I'm... Okay, I don't know how to explain the scent. I'll obviously link it down below. It smells quite luxurious. Like, I don't know what to say about the packaging. Like, obviously I love the packaging. All of their packaging is amazing at Glossier. And I love how big it is as well. It's huge and it also looks great on your tabletop. I know that, like, nothing to do with the product itself, but it does look great as well. It's quite light, easy to smooth all over your body and it sinks into the skin nice and quickly. If you're in a rush in the morning, that's what you want. You don't want ones that are gonna linger on the skin and you know make your skin all sticky. I've been using this like pretty much every day since I got it, so that says a lot, I think. I thought while we're on Glossy, I'll show you the next item that I've been loving from them. So I've got quite a few bits. I've got like the skin tint, is that what it's called? Like the foundation, I've got the concealer. And I've been liking them, but I haven't been using them. I haven't been grabbing for them every single day. Um, this though, I have been using quite a lot. This is the Cloud Paint in Dusk. And it's a small little tube of like face paint. <laughs> so it's a little tube of cheek paint, basically. It's a liquid. I was gonna say it's more of a cream, but it is actually more a bit more of a liquid, which makes sense. <laughs> um, but the reason I love this is I love the colour. I feel like it works really nicely on my skin tone and also it blends in really, really nicely, very easily. It doesn't take very long. You're not standing there for ages, like blending and blending it into your skin. The only thing I don't like about this as much is the packaging. I love how it looks, but I don't really like that. It is quite fiddly, like 
and it can be a little bit messy. So I don't really like the fiddliness of the cap and because when I take it off, I'm like, where am I gonna put this tiny cap? <laughs> I just feel like it's a little bit of fiddly, but I do still, I still reach for it. So, you know, that means that it's not that much of an issue because I love the product itself. Oh, another thing I do actually really like is the balm.com. It's probably just not in this video because I'm not sure where it is right now, but I really like that as well. I feel like it really moisturizes my lips and it's a, it's a lovely product as well. Yeah, so they're my favorite Glossier bits. As you guys know, I've been using the MV Organic skincare products for ages now and I love them, but I also always like to use a first cleanser, like a pre-cleanser. And I was at this, I think was in my PO box or something. I don't actually remember where I got it, but it's from Dermalogica and it's a brand that I used to be really interested in. And I tried a few things, but I found that some of the things were a bit too like intense for my skin. Um, so I didn't use anything from the brand for ages. And then I thought I'd just give this a try because it was called the Pre-Cleanse Balm. I've tried so many First Cleanse products before and I love the, um, what is it? Oh, the Clinique Take the Day Off. I love that, but I think I'd run out of that. So I thought I'll try something else. Um, and this says deep cleansing balm to oil mel melts away impurities and makeup from the skin and it does exactly what it says I've been loving it you can tell because it's actually quite like I've got I've really got through it it's really lovely to use like it's quite a similar uh, texture and feel to the uh, take the day off balm but I feel like it's like it's a bit it's a slight bit oilier and a bit more emollient <laughs> if that's the word it moves around the face a lot easier um, and the only thing is, I don't think this is as good for eye makeup. I feel like the Clinique Take the Day Off does all of my makeup really well. This is probably more effective for my face makeup, but I still really have been loving using it. Oh, and then a really special pro like this is such a big thing for me. I know it seems really silly, but um, I've I've been able to try out a few Sicily products um, over the last month or two. Um, and it's a brand that I've always been really interested in, always like heard so much about, and I've always been like, oh God, I don't know if I can justify that, because you know, a lot of their items are quite pricey. Um, and I've been really liking, well, actually three of their products, but this is probably the hero one that I've especially been loving. Um, so this is the Black Rose Cream Mask. Um, it says instant youth, smoothing, plumping, and brightening. And I love the smell of it. I feel like my skin loves rose anyway. Oh my God, it smells divine, it's so nice. So I love this because when my skin's feeling quite tired and it really needs a, love, a, a good pamper and nourishment, I love to use this and I love the way it goes on. It's not like many other masks that I've used. It's just like a light cream mask, so it's very hydrating. Just leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, then remove excess with cotton pad. After using it, I feel like my skin's really nourished and soft and, and it feels really luxurious to use. It's such a calming mask to use. So definitely go and like check it out if you if you're ever passing by a Sisley stand or anything and like ask them about it or see if you can get a tester because um, I've been loving this. So yeah, thank you Sisley. Okay, moving on to makeup bits. Um, I think I've been a bit of a creature of habit over the last month or two, but there are a few things that I've tried out and that I have been really liking. So I have been trying out a few different concealers recently. This is one that I was really ple ple <laughs> pleasantly surprised by. It's by Lancome and it's the oh, Tante, Tante Idole. <laughs> um, Ultra Wear High Coverage Concealer. I've not really heard anything about it. I've not really seen anyone talk about it. It's the perfect colour for me. It's in Bisque 260. It's this tiny little thing, but it, it is the most amazing concealer. You need the tiniest amount. I'm wearing it today. Um, I'm wearing, well, this is like the main one I'm wearing today. And then I also, I'm wearing a little bit of this one that I'm also gonna talk about. It's not drying or anything under the eyes. It's nice and wet. It wears quite nicely. So this would last you, last you for ages because you need the tiniest, tiniest amount, like literally a little dot, the tiniest dot under the eye covers the whole eye area. Okay, next I wanted to give a mention to this Dior concealer because I didn't get this that long ago. I've had it, I think, for about a week or two, but I've been loving it already. Cause it's one of those products that you don't really need months of testing it. You know if you like it. It's the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Concealer, and this color is um, 30. But yeah, the reason I like this one is that it's quite um, it's quite different to the Lancome the Lancome one. It's quite a lot lighter. It's easier to blend just because it's quicker to work with. I feel like the Lancome one, you do need to like dot it around and make sure every it's in the right place. <laughs> because it's such a high coverage concealer, you need to make sure it looks okay. Whereas this one is a bit lighter, so it's it works faster. So you kind of put a little bit on, blend it in quickly, and it, it dries quite quickly as well. 
like you wouldn't really have to powder heavily with this which can be a really good point for a lot of people because sometimes you want to look too heavy under the eyes but anyway i feel like i'm talking about concealer so much so i'll move on but i have been loving this definitely worth the money um and it's just a lovely lovely product from dior next i've got a face spray and this is the cutest thing ever it's from um tony moly i've only tried a few things from the brand before i believe it's a korean brand um and I saw this in Selfridges a few weeks ago and I was like, oh my God, I have to have that because like pulling this out of your handbag is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and it smells so nice. Um, so it's called the Pocket Bunny Moist Mist. I'm going to use a bit now. It smells so nice. It's got this like fresh but kind of sweet smell. It's kind of fruity actually. Oh, it's made my skin look nice actually. <laughs> but yeah, I've just been carrying this around in my bag with me, like wherever I go, like on the tube and things like that. It's really nice to just refresh yourself every now and then. Okay, so we're kind of coming to the end. I feel like it's gone quite quickly, but I wanted to give a little mention to my Ico Edit. I think I've mentioned it before on the channel, but I haven't mentioned it that much. I basically kind of teamed up with Ico and I've selected my top products from Ico, the ones that I always grab for, the ones that are perfect for me and that they're my favorites basically. <laughs> It consists of these three products. This is my Ico Edit. So it's the Ico Brow Gel. You guys know I've been using this for like years now. I'm obsessed with this. I love it so much. It's amazing. Um, the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. This has caffeine in it as well. It grabs all your lashes really well as well. The brush has a little curve to it as well. The Skinny Eyeliner. It's so easy to use. It's like if you're a beginner as well, this would be so easy to start with. And it just gives a really nice precise black line. So that's my Ico Trio, and if you guys want to get your hands on it, I'll link it down below. It's been so amazing to collab with Ico because I've been a fan of the brand for years and years. It was really fun to put together my own little collection, so go check it out, and I hope you guys like it if you have got your hands on it already. I've got two style favourites for this video, and I, oh, I was thinking of making this video just beauty, but I just... <laughs> I can never, I can't stray away from my, like showing you style bits as well. So firstly, everyone went mad over this jumper because I posted it on my Instagram um, not long ago. This is my Stranger Things hoodie. I got it from Topshop because they've got a whole Stranger Things collection and as soon as I saw it, I went mad. Like I wanted so many things from the collection. They've even got lunch boxes and things. It's so 80s, but I was like, I don't want to go too mad. So I just went for this. And I love it, it's the comfiest jumper. I got it in a size small. I'll link it down below, you guys love this as well. And I can't wait for the second season to come out. Such a big fat fan of Stranger Things. Secondly, this bag I've been absolutely loving. This is such a handy bag. I didn't realize I'd be wearing it so much. So it's from All Saints. I love it so much. They do a slightly bigger version and this version. This is the smaller one. But I think this is just perfect for like running around and, and it just goes with everything. And they really, really kindly sent this to me and I, I chose it out on the website. So yeah, I usually kind of wear it cross body with this strap and I love that this strap is quite thick as well. Or I just wear it, you know, I hold it this way. But this bag is also on my blog as well recently. So um, I'll link my blog as well down below so you can check it, check it out. Um, over there if you'd like. I love how there's just different loads of different ways you can wear it and um, change it up. You can take this strap off as well. A lot of the time I don't think to go in there for certain things but then when I come across a piece like this I'm like I need to like go into All Saints so much more to check out what they have. Music wise I I've been loving Redbone by Childish Gambino. I don't know, I feel like I've been quite fickle over the last two months. Like I haven't been loving any, like, I don't know, many things in particular. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, also I've had a bit of an update on my blog. The design's been updated, um, which was all developed by Katrina Bass, who is amazing. I love working with her so much. Um, I'll link her down below. We just made a few tweaks to the, to the website. So I hope you guys like it. Please go over and let me know what you think on like my latest blog post, just like leave a Comment, let me know what you think about the site. Um, I love reading your comments over on my blog as well as on my YouTube. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Bye.